This Asian guy wanted to improve his dating life. So he got the muscles, he got the tattoos, but he's still not liking what he's getting. So what's he missing? Oh man, we gotta talk about it. There was a viral Reddit post where basically this guy, let's just call him Gordon, cause he looks like a guy named Gordon that I grew up with in Seattle. He said, uh, hey guys, can you guys give me a hinge profile review? Because it seems like lately I've only been attracting non-Asian women and Latinas, but I really want fob girls. Right, so he got buff, he got the tattoos. We're gonna talk about what what the internet said to weigh in to help him out and try to give him some constructive criticism but you guys let me know in the comments down below so please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the hot pop boys you know andrew this is bros coming to the help of another bro who is in earnest asking for advice right yeah and it's so funny because the posts usually are like hey guys how do i attract non-asian women but he's like yo i only want to date asian fobs and i'm starting to attract non-asian women more than I want Right, he's like, alert, alert, reject. Mom! So you know, it's an interesting problem. But anyways, guys, uh, we want you to check out Smala Sauce. It is something that goes good on Asian food and non-Asian food. Hey, maybe if you're an uh, Asian Ooh. fob, it might work well for you. And if you're a non-Asian person, it might go well on your food. Check it out, smalasauce.com. Um, Andrew, he had multiple posts and they just generated so much discussion. So I'm gonna pop up some of Gordon's photos right here. Um, Obviously, he's got a full sleeve but once you zoom in it's actually a cyberpunk tattoo mm. so i'll say this long story short and by the way we're gonna get into the details he's almost like trying to mix kevin win with being an otaku weeaboo soft boy mixed with thug boy mixed with asian gamer in the cafe mixed with triad mixed with like skyline gtr F boy in the S2000 mixed with something right. else, right? Like, is he trying to just mishmash things in a way that don't fully make sense? Yeah, I mean, to his credit, I will say it looks interesting in the sense that he has a full sleeve, but it's like of Tokyo, and then he has a whole bunch of anime characters, and then he has like Pikachu on his chest. Right. And he, he has, has this Kitsune, like Fox Spirit from, yeah, you know, anime. And, and he has like really buff arms. So, like, I can see on paper that he got the tattoos and he got the muscles. So you That's can see he, why he's disappointed. I can see what he's thinking, but at the end of the day, I don't know, depending on his social circles and his own personality and obviously his own expectations, clearly it's not coming together. So let's break it down, guys. David, what is like your general thought process when you see this? Okay, he's not, as classic on Reddit is, not defining what he's looking for enough. Mm. Because based off what I can see, he probably can get some women in the world for sure, right? Yeah, he can get like, some attention. Would you say like, it's not bad he's, he's done the checklist, but you could almost argue everything on the checklist of the, you know, attract baddie or a, a be a Chad checklist. He's checked it, but it's maybe only a half check or quarter check mark. Like right. there's different extents of filling up that box green on the green checklist. Yeah, and then also I just feel like there's misalignment with what he wants versus what he went for. He kind of went for this eight, like he, it looks like he's trying to go for ABG badass chicks, right? That he's trying to get himself out of the nerd lane. But then he says he only wants to date Asian fobs. And I'm like- No, he said hot, edgy Asian fobs with like sort of those airy artistic tattoos on their arm, which to be fair, it is growing like that trend that he's referring to does exist more and more. Yeah, but is he like in their social circle and stuff? Because that's not a huge segment of the population either. Oh, of the American population, I would say a tiny slice. No matter how viral it is on Douyin or Xiao Hong Shu yeah. or Instagram, it's a very, very narrow and then slice first of, of what's all, existing. Like, if is he even Chinese? Because I'm assuming when he says Asian fob, I don't know if he's referring to who. No, has he said he's looking for Korean fob girls, uh, but he's, I believe, Cantonese from San Francisco. So he's not even Korean. Yeah, so that's going to create a whole nother barrier, and we won't. We don't even need to get into well, that. Well, yeah, he probably needs to move to a different market. Maybe he should try moving to L.A., you know, where there's more Koreans. Uh, uh, and <laughs> also, generally, people in general, Andrew, more edgy in L.A. Yeah. And uh, boroughs in New York, Flushing, uh, Brooklyn, specifically Sunset Park. Exactly. Um, I'll say this. If he's looking for fob girls from 25 and up colleges, do you agree that there's going to be some classism at play where they're not going to want a guy that's tatted fully with a black sleeve you know what i mean like i'm talking about like yeah. there's a ton of ink on that arm yeah he might have too much tattoo possibly right 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 um they might be looking for something more airy single needle more artistic right like that i think that generally you know what i notice a lot of guys do andrew they sort of want 
these like edge case scenarios to happen in the sense that they're like, they're like, yeah, I know that I didn't really build myself and my image to attract this thing, but I think there might be an outside chance that I could get it like just like on a long shot or a half court shot. Right, right. So I think right now what you're saying is that if he's shooting and he's, it's like he's shooting half court shots and he's expecting to just make 10% of it. And he's like, yo, I just want that 10% where it's super glorious when I hit that half court shot then you have to shoot a lot. Right. You have to go out there shooting a lot of shots. And if he's not like that type of guy who's getting out there, getting a lot of exposures, meeting a lot of different types of people, then he's going to get, he's he's just going to end up with what comes more easily yeah, to Yeah, like him. if he became a club promoter in the San Francisco area, let's just say San Francisco, LA, New York area for like, fob parties he may come across the demographic that he's looking for that likes him back but if he's yeah. in front of computer screens asking for advice on reddit instead of good knowledgeable bros around him that's already indicating he may not have access to those pools in irl and also david if you said that he said he likes korean fob girls but that are edgy why doesn't he have any korean tattoos why isn't why like right. what are you thinking yeah i'm sure they're gonna love the tokyo Tattoo. Yeah, I don't understand. If you want to cater, first of all, why are you catering yourself to such a specific group that's not that large? It's kind of weird. That's kind of hyper specific, right? Maybe possibly a fetish there. But I'm saying if you are going to go for it, why don't you get some tattoos that cater to that group? Right. Uh, something that you see people get on Physical 100 some or Some Edgeo tattoos, some Korean words. I mean, whatever. You can get whatever you want. I, I think that it's not like that he's a terrible product. But he's probably a terrible fit for what he's trying to get. It would be like opening up a great hipster Russian restaurant in deep Chinatown. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You could go, oh, look at me. I built a great Russian restaurant in comparison to the other Russian restaurants that are available in the demographic market. It doesn't matter because you put it in Chinatown. Yeah. Now it's going to struggle. Yeah. Um, I just think that he's kind of going for this like Canto, like MK, like Wong Gok look, which is kind of like triad -y from like 2008. But he's trying to like bring it up to date with the modern day things too. Yeah. So here, Andrew, Gordon, I have some quick advice um, that, that immediately could change a lot in 24 hours for him, Andrew. Could he get the black square glasses instead of the round shiny ones? Yeah, I would just say drop the glasses. Get LASIK. Yeah. Book a LASIK just appointment. Just get contacts. Dye his hair jet black again. Because when you kind of have the top frosted, you're niching yourself out and you're already looking for a niche that no girls are going to go ever go against the jet black hair when you're Asian, but some girls may be like, I didn't like the dye job. Also, does he wear a black tank top everywhere he goes? That's kind of a weird style. Like, if Well, he's you, going for like 07 Vin Diesel. Like if you like go Tokyo to the Drift. bar and you're buff and all you wear is a black tank top, you can rest assured that that's going to turn off a lot of nice little Asian fob girls. But it might niche max you in a, another lane. Yeah. But well, like he said, Andrew, when he goes out, he gets some attention from white women and Latina women, especially the ones that are into Asian guys. But he might not uh, be reciprocating. Like right. we said, everything is, uh, it goes both ways. It takes two to tango, Andrew. He could go to 12 Pell or any other high-end ASEAN barbershop, give them $50 and tell them to analyze his hair and buy another $50 of high quality hair styling products. So even if they tell him to get curtain bangs, Andrew, he should listen to somebody who knows more than himself. Because mm. it sounds like, to be honest, hey, and shout out to you, Gordon, but you've been listening to yourself and not listening to experts enough. I'm not saying I'm an expert. Should he pick up some GQ editions from Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, South Korea, GQ, Vietnam? Mm. Just pick up the GQs. Look through them, man. Um, should he go to Zargo or Mango Man, which are pretty much like knockoffs of high-end luxury brands at cheaper prices? And if he's looking for Korean fob girls, he could. I'm not saying adopt all the styles from it because he doesn't fully have that look either. Go to the Korean online fashion brands that are going to give you the, the fast yeah, fashion. Why right? aren't you dressing like some of those buff Korean guys? Like look up some Korean fashion influencers. Right. There's so many now, right? You become who you want to attract. Um, He should get Xiao Hong Shu, which is a Chinese Instagram, and follow all the male influencers that give you advice on Xiao Hong Shu. Um, should he, he probably should eat 
more cleaner, I guess semi paleo, semi keto, like lean out because mm -hmm. he's very buff, but maybe there's like, you know, a little bit body fat issue going on there. And then with the one arm that he doesn't have completely blacked out, looking like RJD to maybe get some, at this point, I feel like he's already so invested in the tattoo lane, maybe get some more airy artistic tats on the other arm. Mm -hmm. Balance it out, right? Because right, right, right. the girls that he might be going after, they may like tattoos, but they don't want a full blacked out sleeve. Right. So anyway, let's just get into the comment section, Andrew. Somebody said, your tats and your clothes will put off most Asians. If you want to max on the non-Asians, then get rid of the glasses. And somebody said, well, it really depends on what type of tattoos. Um, you know, when guys are checking the boxes, Andrew, how much do the details matter? Yeah, I mean, I would say getting the full sleeve is going to put you more in the badass Kevin Wynn kind of A-B-G street attracting lane. street lane. So... Yeah, I think you got too many tattoos, and they're too dark. It's, oh. like, too much, like, your arm is entirely black. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is, like, that's a hard look. That's that's sending a, a strong message. Yeah, I would say out of low, middle, high, that's in the high zone in terms mm. of, like, but then it's funny because then you get up closer, and then it's, like, cyberpunk, and there's, like, all these, like, animes and everything everywhere. I don't know, guys. Jimmy Zane made it work. Maybe you guys, you need to watch some Jimmy Zane because he went from the cosplay world and mixed it with the Kevin Wynn world, but he's the only guy who made it happen. That's like looking at Kenny Lofton Jr. being like, yeah, man, Kenny Lofton Jr. made it happen in the NBA, so I'll get his body type, and it'll work. Mm. He's the only guy who made it work. Um, Somebody said it really has to do ultimately with you not being ripped enough you're buff but you're not ripped right how much do you think that that matters when guys are like yo man i'm in the gym looked at all the heavy lifts look at all the progressive overload but they're lifting for strength whereas girls want uh high perf high what's it called high hypertrophy which mm. is more being ripped right 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 yeah i think that some guys do that too somebody said uh i'm not gonna lie i thought you were just a transitioning female because you have a baby face how much is that out of people's control right um i don't know he, he does have a little bit of an androgynous face sure yeah i mean listen guys there's some ways that maybe you could mess with the hairstyle you can mess with the glasses uh, can style you grow any facial hair i guess oh that's a good point um somebody said man it really just goes down to your tattoos tattoos are not seen as proper so if you want fob women which on a racial basis are more conservative you are going to end up with latinas or whites because their cultures in 2023 are much less conservative right yeah especially the type of tattoos he has. And I popped up some examples here of more artistic tattoos that he could go with on his uh, right arm or his non-tatted arm. Somebody was saying, man, for diaspora chicks, you probably come across as a try hard. Um, and yeah, most rebel types are only already dating non-Asian guys. So now you're putting yourself in a weird position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes, I think it's just a weird lane to be in. And it's not that it can't work again if you have exposure and access to a large market large pool large pool of options then potentially you are going to find that one that matches up with you but you might not be in the right area yeah right. you're at, at the end of the day because of his interesting mishmash of like thug boy soft boy otaku weeaboo it's almost like super niched out now mm. it's like you're taking like a a market and you're like segmenting it all the mm -hmm. way down um this guy broke it down photo by photo how come you don't have a photo of you eating brunch or dressed up in a suit showing your hobbies um i don't really like any photo where it's just you hanging out by yourself with the background i notice a lot of guys do this yeah like uh you kind of just like take photos where you go oh i don't know i thought my face looked good in that but then you're not necessarily what showing any sort of vibe or any life or any right, holistic right. sort of lifestyle or energy. Like, what about you eating sushi? Like, what do you like? What do you mean? You're not giving the people any imagery of what your lifestyle is like. You just wear tank tops when you go out. So what is a girl going to meet you up for the first date and then expect you to wear a tank top? Right. Um, this guy says, uh, man, I don't know. You just completely mishmashed everything. It's almost to a point where I would get the tattoos lasered off. Uh, that's impossible. No, At the level I, that he's at, you're not getting this lasered I, off. I wouldn't get them lasered off. I would just like... I would do a lot of other things before that. Right. This guy says, you look like a former Yakuza member who got kicked out for doing something stupid to the clan or somebody who is a, uh, somebody and who does CrossFit or you look like a younger version of Dan Loke if he was a lost millennial who didn't know who he wanted to be in life. So of course, Andrew, the internet coming with the roasts. Mm. Um, 
This guy also said that he fell in love with bodybuilding and he knows that fob girls generally do not want guys that are super chunky in the arms, but he just loves lifting and doing arm exercises. Mm. So this kind of tells me, Andrew, that this guy, he wants to check all the boxes of, you know, like we said, of like what conventionally guys in the West think will get a lot of baddie girls, which is what? Getting tats. Yeah. Getting buff looking socially deviant, looking a little gangster. But then he's not really even lifting the way you should lift, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, I, dude, I, I don't really think it's like, oh, I don't think it's just between, oh, you should have gotten like two different tattoos and then it would have made a difference. Or, oh, lose the glasses and that'll make a big difference. And then like uh, shrink your arms and not be so gigantic. Right, lean out, cut, right? Yeah, I, I think all those are small factors. But ultimately, I think what it's coming down to is just... He has flawed expectations and a misalignment with where he's at and what he wants. And I think those are the biggest factors because, yes, on paper, he got the markings that he needed to get. Right. Buff tab attract, looks like a bad boy, doesn't look like an accountant but, but or But this an is engineer. just to attract more attention from women. It doesn't, getting tattoos and getting buff never meant, hey, you're going to attract a specific type. You're just going to attract more attention. Right, you're going to get and, eyeballs, potentially even from, like, guys. Yeah, even from guys or whatever. But I'm saying that doesn't mean, like, you're going to get attention from your seg that niche of women that you're trying to attract, which is, like, that's just flawed thinking on his part. So I just think that he, he did do what people tell him to. The checklist. But he didn't get the, the mental coaching. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, I would describe it in a metaphor as honestly like you're building yourself as a car. You're a car manufacturer. Different cars sell to different demographics. Yes, does everybody need a car or most people in America need to buy a car? But how come there's such a gigantic variance in the cars that they choose? And you're the car designer. You're the car manufacturer. You get to realistically look at what your budget is, what your capacities are, you know, what type of usability and usage rate you need to get for this car. And then you build yourself, you know, from a, all the way, all from the chassis, all the way to the, you know, the yeah, aesthetics. But, but like we said in an earlier video, man, I feel like dating sometimes, like you can see it. Uh, and I don't want to say it like in a bad way, but like you can see it as like, kind of like a, a getting better at a sport where it's like, you have, there's a mental aspect to understanding the game of basketball. If you want to get better at basketball, you cannot only improve your dribbling and your strength. Right, you're going to end up like Geo Wise or Julian Newman, yeah, right? Yeah, that's only a small aspect of it. To be an actual better basketball player and to have people want you on their team, you have to know how to play the game and how to add to a team and how to fit a system and all, this, all these other things. He's mit, he got... The skills, he improved his skills technically and his strength. Well, that's why he's getting something. That's why he's getting something. But it's just not what he wants. Yeah. Um, Andrew, there was actually a very large white woman who came in and said, well, you know, for me, I love a sweet face with an edgy tattoo body. You sure do got my attention. And yes, I am a large and in charge WF. So like we said, he's getting, you know, some Latina women said, who cares if your face is too feminine for tattoos? I like it. So uh, another girl came in and said, ultimately, I think it's because you're fa you facially have a recessed jaw. But it doesn't mean anything because Andrew Tate also has a recessed jaw. And he's considered a hyper-masculine role model. Mm. That's an interesting point. People do make fun of Andrew Tate for that. Um, yeah, ultimately, man, what's the answer, man? This guy, he wants edgy but cute Korean girls from colleges who live traditionally, but he's not necessarily what they're looking for. Yeah. But he is what some women in the market are looking for. And some of those women may even be freaky deaky. Yeah, I mean, he's better off than, you know, having the more options than if he didn't do any of this stuff, I think the truth is. But I think he just didn't, uh, it's not a good alignment. It's not good alignment. Alignment's off. How much of it is it, you, you know, like we said, guys, the, the, there's so much things. There's checking the boxes, which are important, Probably, and a lot of guys are not even willing to go through that initial yeah, process. True. But then there's the quality with which you check those boxes. And I guess the, the more in-depth aspects are the alignment of those boxes. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, um, ultimately, I do not think this guy Gordon is hopeless. Like I said, I think if he leans out, gets some new clothes, and uh, just listens to some of the advice. Obviously, I don't think all the advice was solid. Some of the advice in the, in the internet comments was. Some of it wasn't. But like... 
He's still going to be able to get what he wants out of life, but he just needs to up his IQ and up his alignment points. So, yeah, guys, like we said, a little bit of a different video today. We're just analyzing things that go viral on Reddit. You know, everything from macro geopolitical things to micro just bro coaching. You see it here. Let us know what you think of Gordon's situation in the comments section below. Is it right, wrong? Do you have different perspectives on it? Where should he put himself to position himself to be in the best place? Yo, honestly, straight up, I think flushing would be perfect for him. I think flushing would be perfect, and he needs to watch more Zimmy, Jimmy Zhang because Jimmy Zhang is a guy I saw transition from, like, cosplay, anime, otaku oh. guy, and then hybrided in with Kevin Wynn. By the way, guys, the execution is everything. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're going to hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.